Hey guys, welcome to part one of how to solve a Rubik's Cube, uh, Friedrich's Method. So, um, to start off, um, we're, we're gonna try to aim to be getting the cross, which looks like this, with, um, with, with this is paired up, this is paired up, this is paired up, and this is paired up. So, um, first, for those of you who are just starting off Rubik's Cubing, there's, um, there's three parts of the Rubik's Cube that you probably should know. Um, you might look at these cubes, um, and see how there's, like, nine, there's nine, um, little, there's nine, um, colors on each side and there's six sides so you'll go nine times six equals what is that um 54 so you'll say that there's 54 pieces on a rubik's cube but that's not true um there's actually only so nine times three because there's uh three layers so one two and the middle one three because each one of these is just one piece I could take it apart, um, I don't want to, but see how this is one solid piece? So that's how the cube works, so uh, 9 times 3 is um, 27, except that there's no center piece, so 27 minus 1 is 26, so there's 26 um, pieces on a Rubik's Cube. There's corner pieces. These pieces have three, or like corners, it has uh, three colors on on the piece. So that's a corner piece. An edge piece um, is like the edge, and it only has uh, two, two pieces. Um, there's also center pieces, like at the very center. These pieces don't move, like every other piece can move, but as much as I try, I can't move this center piece over to here without you could do that but this centerpiece will always be if you hold it'll always have yellow on the top if it has yellow on the top it'll always have orange on this side red on this side white on this side and green opposite so that's how the cube um kind of works i guess so enough with the math and stuff um let's get into solving it so first you're gonna want to mix it up okay so um now you can so for the cross um we only need to do uh one one like one cross so yeah you can pick um any side you want to start on to do the cross like you can make an orange cross you can make a yellow cross you can make a red cross white blue or green um, I'm kind of used to doing it with, uh, doing it, doing, a, a white cross, so I'll do that. So, for a cross, um, what you want to, what you want to do is you want to get the edge pieces lined up with the center. So, like, this edge piece is lined up with the center. So, to start off, you want to try to get all the edge pieces lined up with the center like this one so um i can see that this there's a white here and it needs to go there so i could just turn this one down and it's already connected so that one's done so i need two more to make a cross one there and one there so if i look around the cube i can see another white edge piece right here and then but you can't really get it here just by turning this one, this side down, or this side down. So what you have to do is you have to make it so this goes here, with the white being here. So um, to do that, you can, you can just twist the top, the front face. So now it's here. And then you can twist it down. So it's here.
But then you'll notice that one edge piece is missing. That's because it's right here, but when you twist it to go here, it messes this up. It takes it out of place. So when you do this, all you have to do is just twist this back into place. So there's one more um, piece we need for for to get the cross, and that piece is right here. So um, it's really easy if it's on the if it's facing upwards. It's so it's like directly above where it needs to go. So it needs to go here. It's directly above because all you have to do is line it up directly above where it needs to go. So that's lined up. If it was here. This wouldn't be lined up. This would be wrong. So this is lined up because there's nothing here. And then you just twist the front face twice. And there you go. You have the cross. Um, but remember how in this cube, all of these are connected. They're the same. In, in this, in, on this cube, they aren't the same. Well, if I twist it like this, it is the same. But you might not have that. You might have something like this, where two are the same, but two are different. So, um, or you might have something like, uh, no, this is, this is wrong. So something like this, where, oh, that's right. Uh, well, you get the point. Some might be wrong, some might be right. So, um, so when when you're doing the cross, you have to make sure that it goes in the right spot. Like, see, so I already have one. This is in the right spot. It's matched up with this center. This one is, um, this. So if I want to get this one, um, in, if I get it here, that'll be wrong. Cause I'll show you it. It's right here, it's lined up with green, and this one's lined up with blue, so this is wrong. But to get it, you can twist it like this, but when you're doing that, it's also messing up this. This isn't lined up with blue anymore. So, instead of, so you, you know that um, blue is opposite green, and red is opposite orange. So you want to have the green the green one here um so that it's opposite of blue so the green the white and green edge piece is right here see how it's white and green so to get that here you know how i said the trick before um if it's like this you twist the t the front face then you can twist it down but that's not opposite of the blue that, that'll be like next to the blue, but we want this to go there. So, one way you can do it is you can actually twist this, but then you have to twist the bottom face, which messes up the blue, so you have to make sure, you have to remember that it messes up the blue, then you can turn it down. See, now it's opposite of the blue. Now you just have to turn it back so that the blue's matching up, and since the this one was opposite of the blue, this should be matching up. Um, another way to do it, if it's here, you can actually twist this away. So you twist this, um, so if you twist the front, it'll be matched up with um, the red. So if you twist it this way, um, then you, then, so now this is the front face. If you twist the front face now, now it's matched up with a green, if you know what I mean. So now you can twist it down, and it's opposite of blue. So that works as well. So you can do whatever you feel comfortable doing. Okay. Now, this part might be a bit more tricky. So, um, so see how th this one, this here, um, this needs to go right here, because see how this is red? This is also red, and this is white. This is also white. So this piece needs to go there. So to get that there, um, it's already lined up here, but um, if you twist this down, it, firstly, it's in the wrong spot. It's opposite blue when it's meant to be opposite orange, and it also destroys this. 
So to to get this here is actually um it's tricky to kind of catch on, but when you get it, it's really easy. So all you have to do is twist the bottom face, the the bottom. Then you twist this down. Um, cause you you see that red is next is to the right of blue, blue's to the left of red. So um, you want this to get right of blue. So blue's here. So the right one would be here. So to to get uh, this here, instead of um, bringing this to here, you bring this to here. So to to do that, you you move it this way. Now you can bring it down, and then you can twist it back. There you go. It's finished. And this one is the same. It needs to go to the left of blue. So you twist this this way. Then you can twist it down. And you twist it back. There you go. Now I have all of the white cross. So I'll just do one more example solve and then that'll wrap up this video. It's been um, kind of long. If you already know how to do the cross, you can just skip ahead. I should have said that at the start, but um, yes, yeah, so you can just, you sh um, this is only for beginners, as I said, so you're, um, you're not going to find anything much else if you're kind of advanced. So um, this one, I, I can see that it's lined up with the green. So if I just twist it down, that's that's already good. And I can also see the blue is this is lined up with the blue. So I can twist it down and see now it's opposite each other. It, this can also be done with um, red and orange. It doesn't always have to be blue and green that are opposite each other. Um, oh, and I can also see that um, this is on the top face. Just say that it's here. As I said earlier on, if you just twist it to match it up here, then you can twist it twice and it'll be on the bottom. Same here. So, um, I, so it's on the top face. There's two ways to do this, remember? So you, you can twist it this way and then put it down. But that's messing up this, so you have to twist the bottom so that it can go in without harming anything. Then you twist it back, or else you can, or else you can go um, turn it this way. Now this is the front face. You twist it here. It's messing this up, so you have to remember that. Then you can twist it down. Now it's matching, and then you twist this back. So. Yeah, that pretty much wraps up my tutorial for how to solve a, how to do the cross on a cube. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if this helped you. And I'll see you in my next video, F2L. Thanks for watching.